Now let's have a look at this footage, a biological male playing against a team of women. It's a women's competition. And when you look at this footage, you can see why it's not surprising that several of the women were injured. Stephanie, that game had to be uh, cancelled midway through because there were three players injured. I mean, how many incidents do we need to have, whether it's amateur sport or even in professional ranks, before there is a hard and fast rule that if you're born male, you can play sport, but only with the men's competition. You cannot participate against women in women's only competitions. Absolutely, Rita. That is a great question. How many injuries do we need before we bring it back to biological sex? We know there are differences between men and women, boys and girls. We know that when men go through male puberty, they have greater lung capacity, increased muscle mass, they are stronger, they are higher, they are faster. And so it's no wonder when these men decide to put on a dress and identify into a women's sporting team that injuries occur. It is happening time and time again and we need national guidelines we need claire chandler's save women's sport bill now absolutely and we have seen in sports where injuries aren't a concern just the unfairness of it because you have often very mediocre athletes uh, mediocre in the men's competition and they identify as women going to the women's competition and suddenly they're dominating because men are stronger, faster, and that is just a biological reality. That's why we've got men's and women's competitions. That's why we don't all compete together. I mean, this stuff is simple. It shouldn't need any sort of discussion or explanation, but here we are, Stephanie. Stephanie Bastian, thank you so much for your time this evening.